Hello, dear fellows! In this video, we will see together how to use overrides properly in Iliad. But first of all, let's explain what are overrides. Overrides are specific parameters of your Odyssey brush. These parameters will force various brush settings to change when you load the brush in Iliad interface. Let's compare Airbrush and Bloodbrush. When I load Airbrush, you can see the size is 256 and the step in Stroke Option panel is 10. If I use Bloodbrush, the size is 30 and the step is 1. You will understand we used overrides to automatically change the size and the step of both brushes when they're loaded. How to change overrides? Overrides can only be changed in your Odyssey brush blueprint, so let's open a blueprint. To display overrides, be sure the thumbnail class settings is enlightened. You will see the details about your brush, including variables and overrides. Unfold the Preference tab to display more options. Size, Opacity, Flow, Blending mode and alpha mode refer to the top bar you can see by default in Iliad. For the recall, these settings depend on the nodes Get Size, Get Opacity, Get Flow and Blend. The rest of the panel from Step to Catch Up refers to Stroke Options panel. For the recall, if you close this panel, you can find it back in Windows menu in Iliad interface. To enable the override, you must tick the checkbox to allow any change. For this exercise, I will change size, the opacity, the step, and I will enable size adaptative. I compile. And now, make sure you load your brush. If your brush was already loaded, you must load another brush and reload the one you were working on. A test. All right. You might have noticed overrides can also be found in Iliad interface in the Brush Expose Parameters panel. This area will only show you options that have been enabled. It is pointless to change overrides here, they won't be taken in consideration since you have to compile the brush from the blueprint to save your preferences. To be fair, we are looking for a solution to hide this information or grade them out. What if I don't use overrides? If you don't use overrides, it means your brush will always use the last parameters loaded in Iliad interface. As an example, if I toggle between my test brush and the airbrush, you will notice the opacity is different. Airbrush opacity is 100 and test brush opacity is 25. Now, if I load bold crayon, which I modified on purpose for this video, you will see it keeps the same opacity as chest brush. If you open its blueprint, we can notice in overrides that opacity was not enabled, which means I don't want this brush to remember a specific opacity value. My advice? Unless you want to switch between a bunch of various brushes that must share the same parameters, always enable all the overrides to make sure your brush will keep a specific behavior. What's the difference between overrides and variables? Depending on your brush configuration, you may not need to use size, opacity or flow overrides as the nodes get size, get opacity and get flow can be replaced by variables. This is the case, for instance, with the brush Fire that needed a float variable to set a size, which means we did not use a get size node which means there is no need to override the size for this brush. And that's all, folks. I hope this video was clear. If not, any feedback in the comment section is welcome. And you know how it works on YouTube. Like, subscribe, share. Feel free to join us on Discord and tip us on Patreon if you want a new pack of stunning brushes every month. Thank you for watching. Take care, be safe, and see you soon.